just got past Labor Day, which means we are in the last stretch of the year. Now, I hope you all had a wonderful and safe holiday. I know that I did, and even went ahead and took yesterday off because just like, you know, let's not push it. As you all hopefully know by now, I am a huge mental health advocate. If you have a hangnail, go see a therapist. Just go. Go for growth. Go to learn about yourself. Go to help you go through difficult times in life. Go to heal the inner child in you. Go knowing that it's okay to not be okay. Because you know what's not okay? You not being here. You not loving yourself. You feeling like you're in pain and feeling isolated. That's... Those are things that break my heart. Now, why am I bringing all of, all of this up? This month is Suicide Awareness Month, September. And I'm going to share a bit of my story. Now, this was recorded last year as part of the Duchess of Grant Park. Because she and I, we are sometimes the same person don't know how that works but anyways our main goal together is to increase mental health awareness for all but especially for the lgbtq community and especially lgbtq youth who are most at risk so my story so what have you overcome and turned into a strength or someone you admire has overcome something and turned it into a strength wow man why would I put that question on there? Like now sitting in this chair, it's like, oh! Um, in college, or when that depression started when I was um, in middle school, like I feel like it probably does for a lot of people, but it came to a screeching head in college, my junior year, I was about to leave to go study abroad in France. It was the end of the semester, and it had been a stressful semester, like trying to raise funds to go travel abroad, and then trying to get everything for my journalism major, which I wasn't even sure that I wanted to do, but just trying to juggle classes, and then also dealing with a lot of personal issues, and it reached a head to where I just got in my car and I started driving. and. The point of that was to eventually find a, eventually to find a place to commit suicide. Um, but I kept driving, and meanwhile my phone is ringing, like people trying to figure out where am I, where am I at? Because apparently my parents are going to surprise me and come up that day. But they were like, "Where's Patrick?" and no one knew. And and so. To make a very long story kind of somewhat short, um, going through that dark period of my life and reaching that low, I know what it feels like and I empathize with anybody who's at that point. And the thing they say about suicide is if you can imagine physical pain so bad, that's what being that depressed feels like where you don't know how to get rid of that pain. And so when I see people who are depressed, I, I can imagine what the physical pain is like for them to be in that place. And so I think being at that low point in my life, as I'm sure a lot of us have been, it's given me the strength to recognize that in others and hopefully hopefully be compassionate and empathetic and understanding to others. Now it feels like a good time to wait for the trash can to go by, but okay. In watching that, wow, have I changed a lot? Also, I have a movie now, but more importantly, the story I told hits differently. At the core of that depression that plagued me for so long was being afraid to live my truth, and not necessarily this truth right now, because I had to uncover other truths in order to come to this truth. And that truth that I had lived with for so long was so for so much of high school, 
it was a feeling of being gay was wrong like a lot of self-loathing a lot of self-hatred and then with finally getting to a point where I was okay with that but then also just some issues I went through early in college that were just life-changing And I know often we're all like, what can we do to help depress people? Here's a soapbox time. <laughs> Make the world a better place. Make the world a more accepting place. Just be nicer and kinder and more empathetic. Give space. Lend an ear or time or sit with someone. In college, in the midst of my depression, one of the biggest things my friends did for me, and I don't even know if they know, they probably knew, but one of the biggest things was just to sit with me. And yeah, it's college and we already do a lot of sitting, but we would just watch TV or movies or play video games together and I would have a respite for my demons. What's also bringing this up is we're doing the Laramie Project and honestly, all of these issues intersect. I mean, imagining what and how lonely not only Matthew Shepard must have felt leading up to that point, but also all of these issues intersect. And I truly believe that the key to help save adults from addiction, depression, what have you, starts with the environment we're creating for our children and youth. Give them the freedom to feel their emotions and to teach them how to process them. Give them the freedom to explore their identity when the stakes are low so that they can enter adulthood having a better grasp on who they are. And create warm and affirming spaces where we accept them as they are instead of judging or insisting they change. This is how we change the future. And if I am ever blessed to be a parent. I hope I do that and so much more for my children. I guess that's in soapbox and rant, who knows. Um, if you live in the Atlanta area, we have a host of resources available to you, including where I go, Positive Impact, and also Mental Health America, Georgia. Nationwide, there are resources as well, and I hope all of you are taking advantage of the time now, especially with telehealth and telemedicine really the infrastructure being in place to do that now is a time to heal the inner you heal from past trauma just heal so that when we come out of this pandemic maybe we can all be a little bit more whole holistic something i don't know as always i love you all Keep bearing the lightness of being, and remember, this is Suicide Prevention Month, Suicide Awareness Month, one of those months. Um, you should go to the top of the show and check it, but you know what I mean. Take care of yourself. And I think I'll buy yourself a car tiara, one of them. I have some on the way, and I'm so excited. Alrighty, y'all. Bye. <laughs> this work. It's not so much I found it, it's the other ones being washed. Long story last night. I'll show it to you tomorrow.